Welcome to our FB page na free reviewers managed by Lunalin. Now, let's do PEMDAS. At ito ay na-post na natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Lunalin. Pero bago ang lahat, story time muna tayo. 2017, ito yung pinakaunang nakita ko sa news feeds yung regarding sa PEMDAS. Post siya sa isang FB group kung saan nandun yung mga nagre-review for civil service exam. Napapansin ko doon sa post na yun, regarding lang yun sa PEMDAS, na sobrang daming nagkakamali. And at that time, 2017, mga siguro June, July 2017, wala pa tayong mga references na galing mismo sa libro. Dahil dyan, sobrang daming nambubuli sa atin taong 2017 to 2018. Dahil malinis yung hangarin natin, nagkaroon tayo ng mga references from grade 4, grade 5, grade 6, grade 7. And later, babasahin natin yung mga references na yan. Now, during that time, since marami nagkakamali, gusto kong itama yung mga mali nila. Tungkol sa order of operations. Until nabuo natin yung sarili nating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All noong October 2017. Now, kung ang sagot nyo, kung ang sagot nyo ay itong letter B, letter C, or letter D, please watch this video kasi magbabasa tayo ng mga references. Isolve muna natin to. Sa order of operations, meron tayong mga acronyms. PEMDAS. Meron tayong GEMDAS. Meron ding BODMAS. BODMAS. At marami pang mga acronyms. Binuo ang acronyms na to para sana hindi makalimutan yung mismong Order of Operations Step number one Parenthesis, groupings, or brackets Yan yung unahin natin, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis Still following Order of Operations Step number two Exponent orders, or yung mga roots Mga fraction line. Kung wala yan, direkta na tayo sa step number three. Multiplication or division. They rank equally. Kaya we will solve them whichever comes first from left to right. Yan yung nasa order of operations. Step number four. Addition and subtraction, they rank equally. Kaya we will solve them from left to right. And by the way, meron tayong mga references dito na basahin natin later. Isolve muna natin to. Sa order of operations, unahin natin muna yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. And by the way, ang mga operations na nandito ay meron tayong parenthesis. Mayroon tayong division at multiplication, subtraction at addition. Since meron tayong subtraction dito, pwede namang pagsabayin itong dalawa. Pero anyway, unan, unahin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 12 divided by 3 and this is 4. Again, nauna kasi si division dito. Remember, division and multiplication, they rank equally. Okay, we will solve them from left to right. Nauna si division, kay unahin natin yan. So, 12 divided by 3, and that is 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. Isa-isahin natin yan, i-check sa ating scientific calculator. Nasa loob ng parenthesis, 12 divided by 3 times 4. Ang sagot dyan ay 16. Now, ngayon, dito na tayo sa labas. Unahin ulit natin yung division and multiplication. Now, itong division ay mas nauna sa multiplication dito sa given, kaya unahin natin si division. 10 divided by 2, and that is 5. Next, 5 times 5 equals 25. 
Again, i-double check natin sa ating scientific calculator. 10 divided by 2 times 5. And this is equal to 25. Next, huwag kalimutan yung minus sign at itong plus 1. Now, ang natitira natin ngayon dyan ay addition and subtraction. Remember, addition and subtraction, they also rank equally. Kaya we will solve them from left to right. Now, 25 minus 16, and this is 9. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Now, bago tayo sa ating references, dun muna tayo sa ating scientific calculator. 10 divided by 2 times 5 minus, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, 12 divided by 3 times 4 plus 1. Ang sagot dito ay 10. Now, kung hindi kayo makapaniwala na ang tamang sagot dito ay 10 by following the order of operations, magbasa tayo ng mga references. Ito ay galing sa grade 4 textbook. Which of the following or which of the answers is correct? Ang nasa given dyan ay 84 minus 25 plus 13 minus 7. Is it letter A? Letter A na from left to right? Is it letter B na inuna talaga yung addition bago yung mga subtraction? Is it letter C na from right going to left? To make sure we will all arrive at the same answer, the order of operations was agreed upon. Since there is only addition and subtraction in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Now, wag kalimutan dito sa grade 4 textbook, yung word na left to right. Thus, the correct answer ay itong letter a, left to right. Next, dito tayo sa multiplication and division. Which one is correct? Ang nasa given ay 64 divided by 8 times 4 divided by 2. Is it letter A na multiplication talaga ang unahin bago yung mga division? Is it letter B na left to right? Or is it letter C na right going to left? Since there is only multiplication and division in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Thus, the correct answer is letter B. Now, in cases, meron tayong karugtong dito. Now, in cases where addition or subtraction is combined with multiplication or division. We work from left to right doing multiplication or division first, then addition or subtraction. Claro naman yan, no? Dito na tayo sa grade 4 text. Uh, no. This is from grade 5 textbook. Rule number 1, order of operations ito. Simplify the operations inside the grouping symbols first. Grouping symbols are always done from the innermost set outward. Rule number two, evaluate exponential expressions. Now, rule number three, napapansin nyo, apat lang yung order of operations, hindi yan siya anim. Now, sa so rule number three, multiply and divide. In the order they appear, ibig sabihin ko ano yung given, kung nauna si division or kung nauna si multiplication. From left to right. Now, sa so rule number four, add and subtract in the order they appear, left to right, from left to right. Next, grade six textbook. The following is the order of operations. Direkta tayo dito sa step number three. Multiply or divide from left to right. Step number four, add and subtract from left to right. 
Now, grade 7 textbook. Step number 3. Perform all multiplication and division from left to right. Step number 4. Perform all addition and subtraction from left to right. Ito pala yung claro. From left to right. Now, dito tayo sa study.com kasi mas claro ito. Step number 3. Even though... M for multiplication in PEMDAS comes before D for division. These two operations actually have the same priority. Complete only those two operations in the order they occur from left to right. Naintindihan naman siguro, no? Ang talagalog nito ay kahit daw nauna si M for multiplication sa mismong acronym ng na PEMDAS kaysa D na division, itong dalawa ay pariho lang. They rank equally. Kaya, kumplituhin natin ito kung alin ang nauna sa given. Now, dito naman tayo sa step number 4. Ganun din. Even though A for addition is in PEMDAS before S for subtraction. These two operations have the same priority. So you look for this last two operations. Siya yung pinakalas na isolve natin. From left to right. And complete them in that order. At ganun din dito sa reviewerscivilserviceexam.com Na MD means multiplication and division. These two operations actually have the same priority, the same rank. So you should complete these two operations left to right at ganun din yung addition and subtraction. Ito naman mas klaro ito. Unahin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, still following the order of operations, then yung exponent, at nandito yung left to right. So multiplication and division. Kung nauna si multiplication, unahin yan kay ni division. Kung nauna si division, unahin yan kay ni multiplication. Ganon din ang addition and subtraction. Kung nauna si addition, unahin yan kay ni subtraction. Kung nauna si subtraction, unahin yan kay ni addition. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng left to right. Sa so step number 3 and step number 4 sa so order of operations. Nandito pa yung last nating reference na nandito. Order of operations, precedence rules for simplifying mathematical expressions na established ito pre-1600 pa AD. Step number one, any operations inside. to mga groupings na to. When done, remove grouping symbols. So itong parentheses, brackets, groupings. Number two, exponents, orders, powers, mga roots, or including dyan yung fraction line. Next, uh, step number three, multiplication and or division. So, pwedeng mauna ang multiplication, pwede rin si division, depende na lang sa mismong given. At ganun din sa addition and subtraction, they rank equally, kaya we will solve them from left to right. Now, if a step doesn't apply, go to the next step. Sa mismong given dito, wala tayong exponent, kaya mag-proceed na tayo sa next step. Now, all I hope na nag-gets nyo na kung bakit ang tamang sagot dito ay 10. Thank you for watching and God bless.